Constipation happens when it's hard for your body to get rid of poop, means pooping less than twice a week and straining when you do. It's usually caused by a poor diet and a stressful sedentary lifestyle. Nevertheless, it could also have some other underlying causes and if constipation persists, you should see a doctor because it can lead to major health issues. Unfortunately, this problem is usually shoved under the carpet because people feel ashamed to talk about their pooping habits for one reason or another. Anyways, if you're sure that what you experience as a temporary constipation, then you can solve it yourself by not eating foods that might cause it. Here's a list of foods to consider reducing or avoiding. Number one, fried and fast foods. Present in our lives, whether we're watching a movie, the Wimbledon final, or just spending an evening playing board games with friends, chips are always there on the table as the most pleasurable snack on the planet. French fries, fried chicken, and burgers are often high in unhealthy fats and low in fiber, which can slow down digestion and lead to constipation. Moreover, chips usually contain unhealthy fats, which can slow down the digestive system. One good replacement for chips. Well, how about pears? They're a natural constipation remedy and very delicious as well. Number two, unripe banana. Unripe bananas might actually make constipation worse for some people. They contain more resistant starch, which can be harder for your digestive system to break down. For relief from constipation, ripe bananas are usually a better choice. It seems that unripe bananas contain a high concentration of tannins, an antioxidant which can cause or even aggravate pre-existing constipation. Number three, chocolate. Among people suffering from constipation revealed that people thought chocolate was to blame for constipation. Also other reasons were white bread, black tea, bananas. The study was conducted on a group of 122 patients suffering from chronic constipation and 766 patients suffering from irritable bowel syndrome with constipation. It's true that Though black chocolate has numerous health benefits from lowering the risk of heart attack to lowering the cholesterol levels. If your digestive system is a bit on the edge, black chocolate can contribute to constipation. Number four, dairy products. This might sound strange. Yes, but watch carefully until the end. Milk and cheese are full fat dairy products that bring a lot to the table when it comes to satiety and weight loss. Moreover, a study from 2015 found that people who eat a lot of high-fat dairy products are less likely to experience diabetes. Nevertheless, since these products are processed very slowly, they could make you constipated, apart from the fact that they can cause a lot of bloating. Number 5. Ice Cream These can also contribute to constipation for some people, especially if consumed in large quantities. Yes. This is because it contains considerable doses of lactose and fax. Moreover, it doesn't have any kind of fiber, so that means it won't contribute to your bathroom situation in any way. Still, if you make your own frozen banana or frozen strawberry ice cream, things will change for the better. Try doing that more often. Number six, white rice. White rice compared to brown rice, white rice can lead to constipation because there is no more husk bran or germ in it, and that's where all the fiber and nutrients. It's low in fiber, which means it doesn't help much in adding bulk to your stool or making it easier to pass. Number seven, red meat. Red meat means steak, and steak means a lot of people's dinner, barbecues, family gatherings, and so on and so forth. Still, it all depends on the quantity of steak. A good dose of steak at a time might have the opposite effect of constipation, but if you're a regular consumer of red meat, then you're a regular consumer of less fiber than needed. Less fiber means a slower digestive system and that leads to constipation. If you're eating a lot of red meat for proteins, but don't catch up on fiber, then you're on going down on a slippery slope of constipation. Number eight, white bread. Eating white bread means missing on the opportunity to give your body some whole grains rich in fibers. Why is it that important? Because one slice of white bread has less than one gram of digestion-friendly fibers. 
while a slice of whole grain has 3 grams or even more that works wonders for your stomach. Number 9. Coffee A recent European study showed that coffee was responsible for a gastrocolic response in the body. Shortly after consumption, which prompts people to go to the bathroom after a cup or two. This is why some of you might think coffee is actually preventing constipation, but it's not. Drink too much coffee or energy drinks which also contain caffeine and you'll experience constipation. What is more, coffee is also dehydrating you and without H2O to push waste through your digestive tract, your body is dry and your stool is hard. This is why, at some restaurants they serve coffee with a glass of water, it's essential to drink the two together. Number 10. Gluten We've talked about foods containing gluten and yes, they're prone to cause constipation. The idea is that gluten in itself as a compound that leads to constipation. Several grains like rye, wheat, barley contain gluten. Gluten might not cause constipation for everybody, but for some people it can be quite problematic. For example, people suffering from celiac disease, a long-term autoimmune disorder that primarily affects the small intestine, cannot and should not eat gluten. But also people not suffering from these type of disease can have an intolerance or a certain sensitivity to gluten, which can lead to constipation or other complications. So, why is gluten so problematic? Usually, gluten irritates the gut and this means either constipation or diarrhea or even other types of health issues such as intestinal permeability. To manage constipation effectively, it's also important to ensure you're drinking plenty of water, engaging in regular physical activity and gradually increasing fiber intake to avoid digestive discomfort. Moreover, knowing what types of food to avoid is also a really good idea in fighting against constipation. Also, you should never be ashamed to talk about it or see a doctor in case it gets too much. Stay healthy. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.